Hello folks. So today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious cream of broccoli and cheese soup in the Vitamix. So this is similar to uh, a recipe you'll find on Vitamix.com. It's just I changed up the ingredients a little bit and adding uh, some different vegetables. Like I like to add a carrot in there too. You're not really going to notice it, but it's going to add some good nutrition. You don't have to worry about peeling the carrots either. Uh, and if you have a Vitamix, you'll know that. Just make sure that everything is washed thoroughly. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to go over what's in it. And I'll put all the ingredients in the uh, description. But we have one head of broccoli here that I'm going to steam in the Instant Pot. If you have an Instant Pot, all it takes is you set it to zero minutes. By the time it comes to pressure, it's done. And that's to add to the soup when it's finished. Then we're going to take a pinch of uh, Himalayan sea salt that we're going to add. The grated cheese that you see in the little bowl there, that's for afterwards when the soup is ready. And we're going to put in one carrot, one head of broccoli florets, two stalks of celery. Then we have about a third of a small sized onion. And then three pieces of cheese, just to show you the block of cheese and the thickness. If you don't have, uh, and I like to use sharp or sharp cheddar or old cheddar um, simply because it just ha adds more cheese flavor, but you can use whatever cheese you like. And then we have some pepper, we're going to have a cup of water, and we're going to put a tablespoon of OXO or chicken bouillon in it, and then we're going to top up the measuring cup here with two cups of water. So I'm going to start prepping the uh, cooking the broccoli here to add to the soup later and then start filling everything into the Vitamix and then we'll get started. Okay folks, so I have everything loaded in the blender and I just want to correct something from my last video towards the end when I talked about the cup of water. Um, I meant to say that I have a cup of water there with the bouillon that you add and once you've added the bouillon you, you bring it up to the two cup mark with the uh, cream and then also on the cream if, if you prefer to make it more healthier honestly the creams the cream's not really the nutrition on that's going to be in this with the uh, broccoli and the carrots um, if, if you want to choose something different like a whole milk almond milk or another type of milk you can experiment with that and try it out uh, and then the pepper is optional like if you want it to have a little bit of heat in it then put a dash of pepper in and then another uh, recommendation is the salt the reason why I'm just putting a sprinkle of sea salt and I'm not using other salt is because I'm using um, the um, uh, chicken bouillon that already has a lot of salt in it so when I say sprinkle I mean literally a sprinkle of sea salt and uh, sea salt is not quite as harsh so we're going to get started here by pulsing this up. If, you ha if you're familiar with the Vitamix, which I assume if you're watching this video, you are, you know how to pulse. So I'm just going to pulse that up so that I can bring uh, the, uh, the solids down to the bottom so that I'm ready to put it on the soup mode. So bear with me and I'll be right back. So this is what it looks like, folks, after I've pulsed it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it on the low setting, starting at number one. We're going to flip the switch to turn it on, turn it up to 10, then we're going to turn it on high. I'm just going to stop it there because you're not going to be able to hear me. So once you turn it on high, what you're going to do is you're going to leave it go for seven, uh, around seven minutes, uh, but check it. Once you start seeing steam, and, and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, when it's done, you'll start to see steam forming and starting to, to come up here. Uh, that's, that's when it's done. So I'm going to start. I'm going to go back, put that back to high, let it go for about six minutes and check on it every once in a while until I know that it's done. And then I'll let you know how long it took. And we'll be back shortly. Hey folks, this has been going for about seven minutes. Oh, there goes my alarm. Now watch. See the steam come off of that? That means it's done. 
So stay tuned, we'll show you the next steps. So, for the next step, this is the broccoli uh, that I had cooked or steamed in the Instant Pot. So if you do have an Instant Pot, you can cook this up ahead of time before you start this. Um, the reason why I would suggest that you cook it up ahead of time, if it's on the same circuit, this uses a ton of power, especially when you're going on high mode. Just think the friction of the blades is what's heating and cooking all of those ingredients. So the reason why I steam it ahead of time uh, and not at the same time so I don't blow any fuses. So just a caution. But you don't have to use an Instant Pot if you have one. It's uh, zero minutes. As soon as it comes to pressure, do a full release and your broccoli is ready. You can keep the lid uh, closed. Uh, for a couple minutes or a minute and then open it up and you should have delicious fresh broccoli and the reason why um, We're cooking that separately is that we want to dump it in here And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pulse it so again if you know how to use the pulse uh, We put the lid back on Sorry for the shakiness here. Remember I'm new at this uh, I've only been uh, updating recipes now for less than a week. So I'm going to put it on low and 10. Um, whoops, I forgot to put the lid on. Make sure you remember to put your lid on. Rookie mistake. We're just going to pulse until we chunk that up a bit. And then you're going to have little bits of broccoli chunks. So now the soup is ready, so I'm going to pour a bowl. Stand by. So this is what we're dealing with here, folks. It was so hot that the cheese melted. I had to let it cool off, so I'm going to have a little taste. Mmm. It's good. Trust me, it's good. The important part, you need to make sure that it's cooked and there's steam coming out of it. It has to be hot. And cooked. That is delicious. I hope you like it. Jamie, signing off.